hello, 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 hello. Let me just bring what I need to see up on screen. Oh, I really wish Facebook would stop changing because I can't see what I need to. Natalie, that's me. So how do I go back? Oh, for goodness sakes, that'll do. How are we all today? Just bear with me a second, guys, while I try and make this magic happen. Facebook and I are not getting on. today at all. Alright. I hope you are all having a wonderful day wherever you are. I won't be a jiffy. All I want to do is see what I'm filming. Come on. Oh, this is ridiculous. Which profiles? All right, not happening. So, I hope you're all wonderful. Thank you for tuning in. I uh, sorry, yes, I have had a couple of little hiccups this morning with Facebook not doing what they want to do when they go and change all those lovely settings and then make it harder for us to go and find what we need. Okay, so now I finally have, oh, sound, which is not anyone, hang on, and there we go. Now I can see all of your lovely comments and have a look at my camera setup. So um, apologies about that little five minute delay there. Nothing's easy on a Thursday. Um, so welcome, welcome. Today I am doing a, uh, a few live Facebooks as part of the Great International Craft Show and we have a whole lot planned for you. Um, Jeanette Conway is on the Coral Princess. Oh, hope you are having an absolute ball. I hope you are staying safe and being relaxed. Um, been in the media a little bit, love. Anyway, so part of the craft show weekend, we are doing a live Facebook. Uh, a couple of times a day, talking to you about a few amazing little things. I'm just, I've got a new camera set up, guys, so I'm just making sure that we can get everything in screen here for you. There we go. Crooked, still crooked. That's better. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to um, do a little Facebook page this morning, uh, a little Facebook creation, using the uh, Tim Holtz products, because today is... Uh, our special of the day is Tim Holtz products at 15% off. And we also have Vicky Booten products at 15% off and patterned paper at 15% off. But what I would like to do is I would like to show you a couple of tips and um, ideas and things that you can do with distress oxides and have a bit of a play with them and perhaps do a little scrapbook page. Um, the... All the information that you need, um, if you would like to purchase any of these products that I'm showing you, you will find them all available on nataliemay.com.au. We have a, um, a wonderful Facebook community, Natalie May Scrapbooking Creative Community. We do giveaways, uh, we do competitions in there, things to keep you, um, yeah, to give you a bit of a heads up on what's coming up and maybe a little heads up on what's on special tomorrow. 
Um, you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube as well. You'll be able to go back and re-watch this um, demonstration on YouTube. I will be uploading it to there. All right, enough of that. Let's have a bit of a chat about Distress Oxides. Um, they are super fun and super easy. Um, I have got a three pack of stencils. So this is the Vicky Booten set of stencils called Waves. Um, that's just the one that I had handy at the moment. And I love these because they are a three pack. They are quite a really, well, they're a great price point, which is, which is great for you guys. And they have... Uh, and they're on special at the moment, so they're 15% off for today only. So I'm going to show you a couple of things that we can do with these um, Distress Oxides. So the brand new colour came in. This is the Uncharted Mariner. This is his latest. So let's swatch it. Let's have a look and let's see what it is like. So the Distress Oxide is different to the Distress Inks. It is lovely and it is creamy. And that is divine. Absolutely divine. It's a real Natalie May colour. Let's bring that up to camera for you to see. Oh, you get a bit of light reflection there, but you can see that it is gorgeous. So the Distress Oxides are my personal favourite because they just blend beautifully. So I've just got one of my little Ulta New brushes here and I'm just going to give it a little blend. And you can see that it just, it blends up a treat and oh, very, very nice. So if I give it a little splash of water as well, uh, some water here, and this is where Distress Oxides come into their own because they have this great oxidization process that uh, the, the ink changes and creates this really awesome effect. So I'm just letting that settle and now taking it off, you can see what happens there. See how it's left those white oxidized spots there. Love that. So something else that you can do with oxides is we can pop it onto our, our craft mat or our glass mat, give it a spray with water which I know I had here somewhere, here we go. And we can create, there's a couple of things that we could do here. I'm gonna wet it with my paintbrush and swish it around. And now I can color in an image using this wash, um, or I can just dip in here like that and create this really interesting, awesome background. Um, or I can, like I said, I can paint with it. I can do heaps with it. So you've got a really, really versatile um, tool here with Distress Oxides. All right, so they come up fantastic. So let's do a little stenciling and a little blending with them. And then I will create a scrapbook page. What do you reckon? Let's just get rid of that, blend it all in a bit. So we can use this on something else, or I can save this bit of cardstock and, I don't know, do something with it. Might just give it a little spray and pop it aside. But that's drying up really nicely. It's got a great watercolor effect too. Okie dokie, let's have a play. So I've just got a piece of A5 cardstock. This is the card that is included if you purchase a a card pack from Natalie May and you want to make a set of cards. I do love these. Um, I usually just fold these in half. I think it's like $3, $4.50 for a, for a pack of 10 or 20 or something. They're quite inexpensive. Um, I'm going to show you a few different things with a, a couple of different tools. Um, so these are the Ulta New little blending tools. So I'm just going to pop those on there. These come in a four pack really really cool and i'm just going to go like this and a round circular motion going around and i'm going to do this whole this whole piece of or this whole stencil area using the same color but a few different tools just to show you that you can get the same effects with lots of different tools 
So that works really nicely. And if I peel that up, you can see how great that looks without moving it. I could have taped it down with washi tape, but I didn't. Uh, what else have we got? So I have the, no, I always one of these guys. These are the uniquely creative blending brushes. Grab your color. This is probably my favorite one to use because I've got big hands. I find it really easy to hold on to that handle. And you can make that as heavy or as light as you like, just a round circular motion, just like that. Okay, it is a really, really great color to use. Um, I could also use the, this is one of the Nuvo handles. Um, uh, a lot of ladies who have got arthritic hands have found these quite easy to use because they have a wider area here. Um, and I've just got a replacement dome on it. Round circular motion like that. And that's got the color on really nicely. These put on a little bit more color as well. I do quite like those. And then last of all, we've got the Tim Holtz handle with one of the domed blending sponges. And again, they are another one that just puts on a little bit of ink. And these ones kind of get into the gaps just a little bit more as well. So there we go. There is our Making Waves stencil from Vicky Burton. And I'm just going to... I don't know that they join up, but let's just go that way and I'll just do this whole sheet. Like so. Mixing it up. But I've created an instant background and these just, like I said, they blend up beautifully. Ta -da. Okay, really, really simple, really, really easy. Um, now, I've got this dirty stencil here. I wanna use that, so I'm gonna give that just off camera. I'm just gonna use my Nuvo water bottle and I'm going to lightly spray it. Oh, let's not spray it over the PowerPoint. Not ideal. And now I'm going to put down another piece of card and I'm going to pop it on there. Just roll my paper towel over it and I'm just going to pop that aside to dry, just like that. So then I'm using it as a stamp as well, getting the most out of my product. Um, there are lots of really cool tools that you can use. Here, here are a couple, uh, a couple more. So these are the Studio Light blending brushes. These ones have got a bigger dome on it. As you can see, they've got maybe a four centimetre, it says it right there, four centimetre dome on it for that set. Um, here are the uh, Tim Holtz, excuse me, the Ranger ones. <coughs> and then this is the Nuvo blending daubers um, that I used as well. So really, really awesome. All right, quick drink break. So let's have a play with a different colour. Um, I'm going to blend a couple of colours together and I'm going to use the hearts this time. And I'm going to use... I'll go that way. Um, I'll use that new colour, that new Uncharted, with some peacock feathers. So I, I will grab another blending brush here to make sure that I don't mix up my colors too much. And let's go and create something with these. So we're gonna go in with this guy now. So round circular motion. And I'm gonna take this one on here. So Distress Oxides are fantastic. They are just, again, one of those really, really clever, versatile products that you can do lots and lots of things with. Um, use them like a watercolor. 
you can blend them, you can overlap them. They work fantastic on black and craft as well. You can stamp with them. I will do some stamping in a moment and show you. Um, I am going to put them on a background of a scrapbook layout in a moment. We might use perhaps this stencil. And let's just mix it up a bit. Bit of light down there. In fact, let's add in some blueprint sketch to it as well. Slightly different blue, just a touch over the top. A bit more intensity. Uh, what else have I got here? Let's go with some more of this guy. So you can layer and layer and layer, and that's what I think that works great with these. All right, and then I'm going to wet that with my water spray. And on my piece of card, we are going to drop it, drop it, roll it, put it aside to dry a little, to transfer over. Let's see how this one came up. You ready for the reveal? Yeah, look at that. Love it. Dirty stencil. Never waste a dirty stencil, guys. And then I can just use a um, baby wipe or a piece of paper towel to clean that off. Alrighty, what else can we do with these? We can colour. So if I have a stamp, so I've got my, uh, my colour wheel here. Let's colour with it. I've got a block. Whoops. going to pop some ink on stamping it on nice even push just going to give that a little rub with my little knob and now we're going to I'm going to put my little blending tools aside and we're going to color with them like they are watercolors so this time I'm just going to put a dab on here. Can't really see it, but it will come up in a moment. And I'm just going to activate it. There we go. And I'm going to give it a little splatter like so. Love it. Um, so that colour is called Peacock Feathers. So the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides and the re inkers are 15% off for today only okay so if you need you've got these at home and you thought you know what I really should have grabbed the reinker we've just had a massive top up of reinkers uh, so there will be I'm sure there is a color there to suit what you need and you can jump over and add that to your cart so this is just a really really clever way Ooh. of colouring. When you don't have the right colour watercolour that you need, you can do it like this. So that was Blueprint Sketch. Have I got any other blues here? I've got Faded Jeans. Da, da, da. Faded Jeans is a really lovely dusky blue little splatter oh and i've got some salty ocean hey lou would you yeah. grab for me in the uh, top shelf where my oxides are over there can you pull out a chip sapphire for me please it should be sitting right at the front in the blues in the blue drawer needs a bit more depth Thanks, babe. Champion. And then a bit of navy blue. Here. Uh, 
here. So just activating it and then I can color. See how good those blues look? And that won't take long to, um, to dry. It would have helped if I'd gone right to the edge there, hey? But that's okay. So you can color a stamped image. Super easy, just doing that. So how good's that? All right, so there's another technique very quickly. And I've got one more that I can show you. One more quick technique, and I'll do it over here. I want to use this stencil as a stamp. So this time, I'm going to put my ink straight onto my stencil like that. So this one is Rustic Wilderness. And then I'm just going to touch it with a little blue and a bit around the place. Just a light touch. Then off camera, just giving it a spray with water. And I'm going to... Stamp it. Put my hand on it and lift it up. All right. And then I've got something. So that ink's still sitting on there. I can use that haze. So the Distress Oxides. Um, so Janice just asked the question, what's the difference between the Distress Oxides and the Distress Inks? Distress Inks are more water-based. They are more water-reactive. They have more of a slightly translucent effect to them than what the Distress Oxides do. Distress Oxides are a little bit more transparent. I will just go and grab a Distress Ink. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I wanted to find one where I had a matching colour. <laughs> um, so, let me pop that aside. Oh, try and clean up as I go today. There's those lovely love hearts. Heaven forbid I do that. All right, so a Distress Oxide in Chip Sapphire. What it will do is, if I just go like that, and then I will do the same thing down the bottom here. I hope this is nice and inky. And then I will give it a light spray. When we water activate it, we get two different effects. Okay, same color, but you can see that this one is slightly different when it reacts with water. Now, when we when we blend with them, they work differently as well. So if I get myself a clean blending tool, yep, that one's clean. This is what Distress Ink looks like when you blend. It's a lot uh, a bit more transparent. It's got a slightly different finish to it. And then it's, it's when you add water with it that it looks different as well. Okay, and then we've got the Distress Oxide in exactly the same colour. they've got a real creamier finish to them. And they do look different as well. And I don't know if that's coming up on camera. Of course, it's probably not. But let's get a little reactivation. So this is water on the Distress Oxide. And it oxidizes, so it's a pigment cross ink. And this one is a bit more transparent and this one will activate as well. They do have a, a, a much, they do have different purposes without a doubt. Um, 
I personally find myself using Distress Oxides over Distress Inks now because the colours are a little creamier and they're a little richer. Um, when, when you stamp with them, let's find a word stamp here just to show you how that looks. Yeah, so um, Kirstine just commented saying that she likes the oxides for layering and i do too i think that they look really really nice when they're layered um the colors layer so this is the oxide ink pad and then if i just clean that off and i stamp in the ink ink pad okay it's a little bit more transparent i don't know if that's showing up at all but I just tend to like the, the oxides better. Personal preference, I guess. They have different purposes. Um, what else do I need to talk to you about? You can also use the re-inkers to do many things with. So this is one of the re-inkers. I'm just going to give it a little shake here and just pop some down on my mat. And I can colour with this as well. Add it onto my paintbrush and now I can take an image and I can colour it in or I could do some splatters which is what I'll do here. Pop some splatters over the top or yes if I wanted to I had a flower image that I wanted to colour in I could colour with it. But let's layer that over the top like so. All right so you can use them like that too okay. Righty oh, let's go and oh I quickly want to show you how they work on craft. Um, last year I did a demonstration in my little Dina Wakely craft journal, and this is here is using the distress oxides on craft. The colours just come up gorgeous. So that's one of the Altenew or Pink Fresh layering stencils. Um, let me just quickly show you in here how well they work. So if I take, I'm just gonna do a little leaf in the corner here. How does that sound? And show you how well they look. So let's go with, I'm gonna go with a yellow and green. So rather than cleaning my tools every single time, I uh, for the lighter colours, I will use, of course, a new blending tool. Uh, but for these ones, I'm just going to grab a... For the yellows, I'll grab a, a new one, but for the greens, it's okay to mix that with the blue. Um, I'm going to pop that onto there. And I'm going to go up the middle here. So this is the this is a Vicky Booten stencil. Um, is it the Sweet Rush stencil, Lou? Do you reckon I'm using? What was that, sorry? The stencil. What about? Is it the Sweet Rush set that I'm using? Yes. Yes. And it comes as a set of three, which makes it work great. I might pop some peacock feathers on the edge there. So as you can see, I'm just following the way that the stencil runs so that I am not working against the grain of the stencil. I'm working with it and it's not being forced back the other way. All right, now let's get a clean brush here. This one is called Fossilised Amber. I'm going to make that one nice and juicy. And I'm just going to come over the top with it. up gorgeous can you see how nice that came up on craft I don't know if it's showing up on camera but it is absolutely lovely it is so nice it goes over the top of craft and it will go over the top of something black as well so let's use this here I'm going to give it a little spray 
and I'm going to stamp with it down the bottom. And just like that, I've got the beginnings of a art journal page. Um, Shell, Shell's just asked a question in relation to something else. Yes, you do need to book your class direct with Vicky Boone, babe. Um, okay, so let, let us put some of these techniques onto a scrapbook page. All right, so I'm going to just give myself a little clean spot here because just like that, these are dried up great. Um, just like that, I've made a massive mess. Can you see how that's dried up? Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Okay, put it aside. Put it aside. Put it aside. So 15% off today for all Tim Holtz products. 15% off today for all Vicky Booten products. 15% off today for patterned papers as well. So we are absolutely looking after you, giving you some fantastic deals and making sure that making sure that you have got some fantastic things to add to your stash at home. Okay. I would like to, I've got some embellishments here from the new Coco Vanilla Storyteller Collection. This is the pack of flowers that came, is, that is part of the collection. And I thought I might just do a little bit of the base of a scrapbook page using some of these out of here. These are gorgeous. Look at these colours. Um, and and put a little make a little mixed media background all right so the colors that we have got here first of all we have got some peaches peach here we've got more of a, a red here um, we've got a nice yellow some nice blues so the colors that I want to choose with my distress oxides I've pulled out ripe persimmon dried marigold strat scattered straw I reckon this is more of a faded jeans sort of blue. Um, I don't really want to add any green. And I reckon that yellow, and I do believe that yellow might be quite nice as well. All right. So let's lay down some, let's do a couple of things. Um, I'm just going to grab another piece of cardstock so I don't mess up my flowers I'm going to pop a little yellow down on my base yellow is a color that I don't normally use where am I going to put that yellow is a color that I don't usually use when I am creating but I'm going to give it a bit of a play I might clean my stencils first ah uh, yeah all of those flowers just ended up on the floor So before I do that, so how's everybody's day going where you are in the world? Hey Lou, while you're there, mm. do you think you wouldn't mind just um, grabbing some of those flowers that slipped straight down onto the floor for me? Will you please <laughs> put sugar on top? I know, I know, I know. All right. So I'm going to use this heart stencil today. So this is the Vicky Booten heart stencil. I'm going to add some scattered straw, some fossilized amber and some dried marigold to my work mat here. And I'm going to actually pop them on that and slide that this way. That might be a smarter thing to do. So I'm going to pop them on here. Then I'm going to activate them and I'm going to smush a background. How does that, that sound? So let's go in first of all and make sure that our background here is clean and we're going to go like this with a baby wipe so this is just one of the ranger um, mats that i like to use these are a heat a heat proof mat and they will not um, not burn my surface so i'm just going to go straight in here and go one two three 
and a one for luck. So that one is called Scattered Straw. I'm now going to pop in some dried marigold like that. So something in a little orange, some fossilized amber, which is a little bit more depth to it. Um, maybe just a little bit of this. This one is ripe persimmon. Something a little bit more orange based. And now I'm going to spray that with water and, and get that to activate. So you could do this technique on anything at all. And I'm just going to get my fingers in here and I'm going to do this. You can do this um, to do to create card fronts. You can do this to do all sorts of things. But what I want to do is I'm going to take my white cardstock now and I'm just going to smush into that. So this is a flat white cardstock. Um, you could use any sort of brand, but you want something that's going to... Oh, yeah. Something that's going to look great. So what I'm doing now, as you can see is I'm grabbing it and I'm just doing that and it's creating these really cool little splotches and I'm going to heat set that and then I'm just going to grab a little bit more just waiting for it to soak in then I'll grab some more Susan I'm just reading some comments Susan is crafting while she is and so is Leslie crafting while you are watching which is good so i haven't totally dried it i've just done that and now i'm going to grab some of that more background oh now we're talking and then it just picked up some of those drops So we've got some amazing specials and bundles on the Facebook page, sorry, on the web website for today. Um, you will find some excellent things um, on special. So we've got, we've got Tim Holtz and Vicky Booten for today only on special. And you will also find we've got chipboard bundles cleared out from my stash. We have got uh what else we got we've got some other little oxide not oxide embossing powder bundles as well um we have got a whole heap of stuff huge huge discounts you will also notice there is a fundraiser tab on the sidebar and what that is uh is a fundraiser for ovarian cancer using some prima products that have been gifted to me to raise money to go towards ovarian cancer. So if you would like to add something to your stash, that would be wonderful. Money goes to ovarian cancer. Okay, so I'm going to use one of these little guys and I'm going to pop it onto here. Like so. And I want to use this ripe persimmon and put some love hearts around my page. So I'm just blending those on and I'm gonna put some blue and then it goes into that, that orange. That's a good idea. Let's take the lid off of that. And because that's handy, we'll go with that. They kind of overlap a little. Bit of depth. I don't love it. Oh yeah, okay. Not so bad. Can't nail it every time, can you? I'll do the same thing up here, actually. Let's go... No, I'll go this way. Like that. Cha -cha there. Um, yellow is something that I haven't used a lot in crafting. I really quite like this 
um, this look here that I've got for this background. It's, it's worked quite well. Okay, and I'm just gonna turn it over and I'm gonna do the same thing again. Let's go with blue down first and see if that changes it. So I've got oxide over oxide. So in the background, we've got our, our really lovely smooshed oxides. And then through the middle, we have got our stenciled oxide. And I really hope I'm not making this look difficult. It is not a, not a hard thing to do at all. It's just about having a bit of a play and going, oh, I wonder what would happen if I mixed this and this and if I added water. There's so many really cool things that you could do if you just give yourself the opportunity to try something a bit new. Okay, so I quite like that and I'm heading towards doing that like there. Um, I'm just going to grab myself a photo mat. Hang on a second. So I've got my little pretend photograph here with a piece of cardboard. So you can use a piece of foam tape to lift up your uh, piece of paper. What I like to do is grab some double-sided tape. So what I this is just a piece of cardboard box. Um, and I use that to mount. Foam tape works really well. Put it on here. Put it on here. And I'm only going to use my flowers as my embellishment. I could also add patterned paper. Um, I could do a whole range of different techniques and layering of papers that go with this collection. But what I have handy is that gorgeous packet of cocoa vanilla flowers. So Coco Vanilla is an Australian company. They have been around for numerous years. Um, Zoe is an awesome, awesome creative who an awesome creative who um, designs them all herself. And there we go. Why is my camera crooked? There we go. Um, and yeah, so they're really, really lovely. And now I just want to use some I'm gonna lay these guys out. Use some tape or some glue. Glue might be a better option. So this is the art by Marlene Sticky Glue. This is my favourite glue. This is my choice of glue. Uh, right, let's go with laying down some leaves first straight in there just commit to it one two three four so today we, I'll also be coming back here at, um, I think we decided 1.30 and doing another live Facebook just for you guys once I clean up this mess and print off your orders and whatnot. So for those of you who haven't been involved in our show before, we do a fantastic postage special as well. So our postage special is a, uh, a no judgment postage. So tomorrow, because we've got a new special, Tomorrow we have got um, some, some yeah, brand new things on special. And if you go, oh, you know what? I ordered yesterday. Maybe I want to add to it. Um, fantastic. Pay $12.50 for postage today to anywhere in Australia. And then what we will do tomorrow is we will add to that order. So for $1 tomorrow... If you decide that you want to order again, you can. And all you have to do is select no judgment at the checkout. 
Um, no judgment at the checkout means that we will bundle all your orders together and we will post them all on Monday or Tuesday next week. Now, if you live locally here in Adelaide and you want to pick up your order, fantastic. Your order will be ready for collection on Wednesday. Okay, we get all of our postage ones done out first. Uh, and then from on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, we are open for you to collect your orders from 10 to 3. All right. So as you can see, all I'm doing is just coming in with a little dob of glue and a little layering and sliding them in and around. I'm not putting much glue on my... On the back of my flowers just so that they are not totally stuck down I like the idea of them having a little bit of body um, a little bit of lift um, and just securing them down in the middle if you are using good quality glue you will find that you don't need to overdo it you can stick down just a job like that and that's gonna work uh, and I'm pretty happy with that. I do like these little guys though. They're super cute. I'll pop one up there. Pretty red one here. Let's take that one. Um, I could use, uh, for my title, I could, there's so many different things that I can do. Um, I would probably use one of my, go to my collection of stickers that I have. Uh, sticky titles and add a, a nice big word on here uh, don't have one handy which is fine but I will do that and I do love a doodled border what I like about adding a black border is that it ties in if there's any black in my embellishments or any black in my photograph so the size of my photo would be say six by four um, and then, you know, if I print off a black and white photo, that will look fantastic. I could have added some different stamping to my background as well. You can build on this fun background really, really easily. So there we go. Um, so this is the background using Distress Oxides in the smooshed technique, as we shall call it. And then we added some stenciling over the top um, as well to add a little dimension in a couple of other colours. Um, I'm going to go and find a title from my collection and uh, then I will take a photo of it and pop that up online for you. I may even add... Oh, hang on. I do have... Let's use one of these. Just stamp a title. This one here. Be the energy that you want to attract. Bam. Ink pad. Black ink pad. Make sure it's up the right way. And that it's straight. Bam, there we go. Be the energy that you want to attract. Pop that on there. Um, I do actually like the idea of, now that I'm building on this bit, um, of I could easily just do some more doodling or some black stamping on here to, to give it a bit more in the background. Um, that, that would look fantastic. But there we go. Done and dusted. So just to recap today, being Thursday, the 14th of July, we have got 15% off Tim Holtz products, which includes Distress Inks and Distress Oxides. We have got Vicky Booten products at 15% off. So like this stencil here, for example, comes in a three pack. Um, at a really, really great price point. Uh, and we have got uh, patterned paper as well. If you don't like the idea of making your own background like I've just done, you can 
purchase some patterned paper, including Vicky Booten papers, uh, and you can purchase those and they are 15% off as well. So we are looking forward to um, getting your orders all out to you. We have some fantastic bundles. I've just had another idea. Do you see that? Swipe it on there, spray it. Let's just pop a little up there for a little bit more depth. And knowing when to stop is important. Natalie, done. So I will take a photo of this project and I will link in the comments the products that we use today so that you can easily find them online if you just give me a few minutes. And um, I hope you have all enjoyed that today. I look forward to seeing you all back here at 1.30 for another live Facebook. If you are looking for any of this, um, these valuable art supplies today, you will find them online at nataliemay.com.au. You will also find this uh, tutorial will go up on YouTube either today or tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you back here again at 1.30 Adelaide time. Thanks, guys. Wash your hands. Kiss your kids. Chat soon.